All right, so we're gonna go over the A and B uh, filler block real quick. Um, so this is plate number six. Um, what we start off with here in this handout is we have the multiple views of uh, the filler block, right? So we have the side view, the end view, and then the view from up top. So basically uh, the sides, the front and the back, and then the top and the bottom view right there, okay? So we see here from the sides that our height from this bottom image, we see here that the height of our uh, shape here is three inches, or just as three, we're gonna go ahead and assume that's inches for now. Um, and then we see here on our top image, we know that the width is four inches and that the length is six inches. So we have a three by four by six inch box. Um, so very similar to the two by four by six inch box. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start off with that. So you have to do a isometric and an oblique uh, version of this shape, right? So you're gonna translate it from these 2D drawings, which is what you have, you know, what the top and the bottom and the ends look like. Um, and then you're gonna translate it to a uh, oblique or a isometric uh, shape. So first I'm gonna do the oblique um, just because I have my paper turned around this way. So first you just do a isometric or not an isometric. First you just do a, an, an oblique box, right? With the dimensions of six by four by three, okay? I did a cabinet um, drawing for the oblique. So technically all my uh, lines and my side going back at the 30 degree angle is being halved. So uh, this is a four inch side, but it measures out to be two inches, right? So every uh, every line going back at that angle is going to be halved, right? So I have, oh, let me rotate this real quick. So I have my six inches, I have my three inches, and then uh, all my other lines, it should be four, but because they're halved, every line should be at two inches. So two inches and two inches, right? So what you're gonna do first, after you center, you have your workspace labeled out, you do your title plate, you center your shape for the oblique, which is half of your length to the right. So it would have been, um, so from your centered area, you would do half the length to your right. So my length is six inches. So half would be three, I'd go over three and then down 30 degree angle or whatever angle you're going at. So if you end up doing a cavalier at 30 degrees, um, you would do it back down at a 30 degree angle, half of whatever measurement this is, which would be four, so two inches and then down one half your height, which for this uh, shape should be uh, 1.5 inches, right? And then you get to your centered area, which should be this point right here. And then from that point, I do my front side, which is six by three. And then I do my 30 degree angle line backwards and my measurements are half. So back two inches, back two inches and back two inches. And then I should have a perfectly horizontal line connecting them and a perfectly uh, vertical line connecting these two, right? So I have my oblique box right here. But as we see from this handout, I have this box right here, right? So this box right here, means that there is an indented shape inside of my overall box. And you see that here from the other side measurements. I have a three by two box inside my six by four uh, box, right? So my three by two box is recessed in. So basically a hollowed out shape of three by two inches is hollowed out from the center of my, uh, my shape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out the same way I marked out my uh, three by four by six box. I'm gonna mark out the same thing just here on my, um, on my top right here. So I'm gonna do that for my hollowed out shape, okay? So I know that I need a three by two box on hollowed in into the center. So I'm gonna see that from my top view. And I know from looking at this, that on my four inch side, right? So this side right here, one inch in is going to be the beginning of my box. So one inch in is the beginning of my box. And I do two inches of my hollowed out area and then another inch for the uh, other side, right? So on my four inch side, which is this side, I'm going to go back at my 30 degree angle, right? or actually what I can do before I go back my 30 degree angle, I'm gonna go back on this line. I'm just gonna measure, if you're doing a uh, cavalier and your line is completely uh, four inches, so full measurement, you would just measure in one inch and then another two inches, and then you would mark out your where your two inches ends. But because I'm doing cavalier or I'm doing cabinet, all my measurements are half. So instead of that being a one inch line, um, it's going to be a half an inch line. So then I will take my pencil, which I have to go grab real quick. I will take my pencil and I will measure in uh, one inch or a half an inch rather, right? So the original measurement is an inch. So I'm doing half of that. And then it should be two inches, but it's half. So it's a one full inch later is the next one right here. So I do that on my, one of my four inch sides and I'll do the same thing on my other four inch side. I already have them labeled. They're a little bit lighter so you can barely see them, um, but I have them labeled over here. So I have my inch and my inch line. So measurement actually is half an inch and a half an inch. So I have them there. And then what I can do is I can take my pencil and I should be able to connect them from that point on, right? So from this point here to my other point on the other side, I can just take my pencil and go across a little bit, a little bit darker so you can see it, right? So I have that, those two lines going across. And then on my six inch side, 
it says that on my six inch side, on an inch and a half in, I have the beginning of my box. And on the other side, the same thing, an inch and a half in. So I'll do the same thing. I will go here on my six inch side and I will measure an inch and a half in. So right here, and then I will measure an inch and a half in from this side as well. Oops, looks like I measured it incorrectly the first time I did this. So an inch and a half is right here. And I'll do the same thing on the top. So I will go, oh my, my thing's getting in the way. So I will mark it here from the three inch. So an inch and a half in is gonna be right here. And then an inch and a half in from this side as well. So that's right there. And then I'll do the same thing. I will take my ruler and I will connect these lines. And they should go back at your 30 degree angle. So technically if I connect them here with my pencil, I'll connect them here with my pencil, but I should be able to test it out with my triangle as well to make sure that it works. So I can take my triangle now, I'll take my T-square and my triangle, and I should be able to take it and line it up and it should be a perfect 30 degree uh, angle line. Or if you're doing a 45 degree angle cavalier, you should be using the other triangle and it should be a 45 degree angle line, right? So as long as these lines should match up with all your other lines that are angled going backwards, okay? And then now I have this box right here, right? So I have everything's intersecting. This box right here is going to be the hollowed out area. So what I can do is I can go in here with my eraser and erase every line outside that box. So I'll go in here and erase all these. Like that. Probably you guys should be a bit more precise than I am. I'm just going to do this quickly for the video. And then you have your final box, which I will darken a little bit so you can see it better. All right, so you have your box right there. And then you're almost done. All right, so now we see that hollowed out opening right there, the same way that it would be seen here on the top of the box. Now we're seeing it at that angle. It's right there. And then we need one more thing. So we need a line here at this corner right here, because that is where two sides are going to meet. So this is technically one side right here, and then this is another side right there. So I'm just going to take a vertical line, and I will use my T-square. I'll take my T-square and my triangle, and I will just right there in the corner, just go down a little bit. It doesn't matter what the measurement is, because technically you wouldn't see that line anyway. If you'd like, you can go in with the hidden lines and go down and measure all these. So the height of that line that I just drew would technically be a full three inches, because that's the height of our shape here. So if I wanted, I could go in and make that vertical line and then measure in three inches. Technically, it should end down here. So I should be able to just go ahead and take my, my T-square and my triangle and just go ahead and I can make this a little dashed line. So that, that would be that same line. It would just be um, three inches long and hidden. And we'll do the same thing from this shape, or from that corner rather. It would end right here. And I would go in, make it a dashed line because it's a hidden line, right? And then you could go across and down from these areas. But you don't really need hidden lines. There'd be too many for the shape. Um, but that's basically what a cabinet oblique drawing should look like for the A and B filler. And then on the other side of this paper, I have... All right, so for the A and B filler, uh, for the isometric, same thing. So you want to center everything. Um, mine, I don't think, is perfect because I just threw this together randomly. Um, and I don't think the table I was using earlier, I was in another classroom, was uh, really too accurate. Um, so I think some of these lines aren't really... 100% correct, but it'll get the job done, All right? So basically what you do first, like we did before with the oblique, we know that we have a three by four by six box. So I will just draw that. So after I center everything in the isometric way, I start off down here and I go off at my 30 degree angle to the left and to the right. One side is six inches long. The other is four inches long. From that point on, I'm going to go three inches up, three inches up, and then I can connect these lines and ensure that they are all at a 30 degree angle. And then last thing I will do is I will go four inches up at a 30 degree angle and then six inches up at a 30 degree angle and I will form my top side, right? After I have my top side, I know that once again, we need to make our hollowed out section here. So that three by two hollowed out section that begins one inch in from the four inch side or one inch in from the four inch side. So like right here, right here, and then uh, one and a half inches in from that six uh, inch side. So from right here and right here, right? So same thing as before, I will mark one inch in, which was right here, another inch in, which was right here. I'll do that on the other four inch side. And I'll do the same thing with my one and a half inches right here, right here, right here, and right here. And then I will go ahead and connect all my lines. 
So you can use your ruler, you can use your triangle, it doesn't matter. You can connect all your lines. Um, I think you should be able to see them, but I will make them slightly darker so you can see them a little bit better. So I will do this line, and I will do this line, and I'll do the same thing from my other marks. So right across, and then lastly, right across. And all these lines, like I said, should be at a 30 degree angle. So if I wanted, I could take my T-square right now, and everything should line up perfectly, like that does, and like that does. And I'll flip my, t my triangle around, and those two should match up as well. All right, so everything's at their 30 degree angles. All right, and then what I'm gonna do next is, now that I have my little box here on the inside, I will erase all my outline, all my outside lines, all right? Get rid of all these, try to be as clean as possible. I'm doing it quickly. All right, now I have my inside box right here. I'll make it a little bit darker for you guys so you can see it. So I have my T-square up against the side. I have my triangle ensuring that I am going at the correct angle. I'm going down to where it should be. And there we go. Now I have the box. And the last thing we want to do is showing that corner here, right? So the same way that we see this line here, as in the change between the sides, we would need the same thing on the inside on the hollow part because we have this side here that is technically facing this way. Then we have this side here that is technically facing that way. Right, so then I would just take my triangle and my T square, make sure I have a vertical line, and just go directly down. That measurement should be three inches, but because I am uh, working in a smaller space, so right here, the rest of my line right here would technically be hidden, so the line would go down to here. Um, but it would be hidden at that point, so it would be a dashed line. So you would have a, a light dashed line. You could do the same thing for down to here, down to here, connect them, down to here, connect over here. A lot of hidden lines, um, which I can upload images of um, that I drew digitally. That's just easier to see that way. Okay, but it's the same thing for the oblique and the isometric. Basically, all you do first is draw your 3 by 4 by 6 box in the isometric and the oblique fashion. Right, and then after you do each of those, you go over here to the top side and you follow these measurements to figure out where this hollowed out section is going to be placed on this top side, right? So you mark in uh, based off these measurements, so an inch in and then an inch in, like it says here on the four inch side, mark that on both four inches sides, then do an inch and a half from the six inch sides, same thing, connect them, erase all your outside lines, Keep your intersected lines right here. And then last thing you're gonna do is draw your little vertical line, right? So now it has an idea that there is a hole here in the top of the shape. So if this was 3D, I could reach in and put something inside this hole right here, okay?